Hi there, this is Wild Bill again for Gold Survival Guide, in the second of our series of silver videos. Today we're going to look at a few charts and just see what information we can pick up from them. And the first chart we look at depicts the price of silver over the last 10 years in New Zealand dollars. Uh, sorry, in US dollars this time. Now what can we see? Well, when we look at the first part of the chart, we have the, uh, an essentially kind of static flat graph up to about 2003. Now this marks a period when the cost of mining silver was actually in excess of its market value and worldwide above ground stocks of silver were being run down and in fact they continued to be run down. And you might remember that we remarked last week that silver was in short supply and the amount economically accessible below ground is diminishing rapidly. The second thing we can note is that there is an upward trend on this graph but of course we have deep, a deep correction. You notice that um, you know in the period um, uh, dur during uh, 08 and 09 there was a basically a 50% drop in the price of silver uh, in US dollar terms. And also you can see that the price is becoming increasingly volatile. Big, big up and down movements and uh, most commentators believe that this volatility will, will continue and in fact even increase. Okay, here are our first two charts, as, I, as we said. One is the US dollar price of silver and the other is the New Zealand, price, New Zealand dollar price of silver. Now, by the way, these charts come from a service called the Pacific Exchange Rate Service of the University of British Columbia. And this is a particularly good site for drawing these charts. You can basically compare any currency with any other currency, including both gold and silver. So, and, and over time periods up to four years. So it's actually quite uh, it's actually quite valuable. Notice that the uh, the fifty percent correction I just mentioned on the last slide, um, from around twenty dollars per ounce to around ten dollars per ounce. That's in U.S. dollar terms. But you notice that the correction in the New Zealand uh, dollar price was much less severe, from around uh, New Zealand twenty four dollars per ounce to around seventeen. Now it was much less severe because this coincides with a time when the, U the New Zealand dollar was actually weakening quite substantially. And you see the effect of that is to kind of smooth out the graph somewhat and um, you get a sort of more steadily rising uh, period, uh, steadily rising um, behavior of that graph. Now the great thing about this is you can take advantage of this volatility in the silver price and basically buy, when you see these big corrections coming, that's not a time to panic and pull out, that's just a time to buy more silver. And that's what uh, that's what savvy investors are actually doing. Okay, now we'll look uh, um, at the uh, next chart, which uh, compares um, the price of silver against the price of gold. Just looks at them over the same time period. Um, and what can you observe here? Well, you see they're both in an uptrend. Uh, you can also see that silver is more volatile than gold. There's more ups and downs, and the ups and downs are bigger. And the other thing is that the silver percentage price increase is actually lagging behind gold. Gold has actually moved up from $800 to $1,200 in that time frame. That's a 50% increase. And silver's moved up from 14 to just under 20 So it's, uh, it's not moved up quite as much although, as I say, both are in the same, the same kind of uptrend. Okay, now we're going to look at um, another chart. This is the uh, so-called gold-silver ratio. And of course, one of the good things about this chart is that you don't have to worry about the underlying basic currencies. You can look at, you know, you look at the underlying price of both gold and silver in US dollars or New Zealand dollars or, or um, Zimbabwean dollars if you so choose. Uh, the, th the ratio is exactly the same. Now, if you're in the fortunate position of holding both gold and silver, you might consider the following idea. Because what this chart means is that w when um, the values are on the chart are low, uh, for example, around about the 50, 55 mark, that means that silver is expensive relative to gold. Um, and of course, since gold's the only real money, that just means that silver is expensive. And if you're holding silver, that's a time to sell it off and uh, buy some gold instead. 
about. In other words, in um, uh, sort of more traditional terms, you'd be talking about moving to cash, because gold is cash in a real sense. Now, on the other hand, when you get high values, like we've got here some values up around the 75, 77 and a half mark, this means that silver is cheap relative to gold. And that's a time to buy more of it. So you could sell off some of your gold and buy some silver. And you see a big, a big jump like that from top to bottom. That actually means uh, you've actually got a 50% increase between the, these values 50 and 75. So it's quite a substantial uh, advantage you could, you could gain by, by making that kind of shift. Now our last chart, I just look at that in um, looking at the gold-silver ratio, the historical gold-silver ratio over this time over 10 years. And um, in our last slide we're going to take you through to, to our website where we've got actually got a fantastic chart because it actually gives you, you can set up whatever time frame you want ranging from uh, 25 years back. Uh, right up to looking over a short time frame. You can set that time frame and the chart will come up. And the good thing is that's in New Zealand dollars. So we, ha we have several charts actually on our charts page actually in New Zealand dollar prices which is quite unusual because mostly on the web you won't find that, that kind of view. So uh, we'll take you through to our last slide which uh, um, basically shows you how you can track the latest uh, silver and gold prices at our website. And uh, of course there you'll find uh, all sorts of other fascinating and interesting information about investing in gold and silver in New Zealand. So this is Wild Bill signing off. I hope that uh, was a, a nice little uh, intro to some charts involving gold and silver. And um, we, we post a number of these on our site. They're updated regularly and uh, you can keep track of what's going on in, in the world of uh, gold and silver investment. Okay, so I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, as I say, this is one, this is second in our series, and we'll have some more coming for you in due course, as well as videos on other topics as they uh, grab our attention. So thanks for listening and watching. Bye for now.